from Vietnam. I am a USD student majoring in Advanced Material and Chemical Engineering. My campus is fixed in Unsa. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. And thank you for coming way up from Dejan to Unsa to visit me today. <laughs> Not a big deal. So today I'm here to talk about your research achievement uh, you made last month. Your paper was on the cover of the nanoscale. So uh, what does it mean that your paper is on the cover of the journal? Uh, here is the cover of my paper of oh. the nanoscale journal. Wow. And um, I think the interesting thing about this is that, that my paper, apart from other research, mm -hmm. is that I combine something very classic mm -hmm. to a new concept to create a new material. Oh. And also, my paper heavily focused on the scientific aspect rather than just application. Uh -huh. And I think that is the highlight and the uniqueness of this paper uh -huh. that makes it become the cover. I see. So, what is it about exactly? Well, um, my research group. Our recent topic is biopolymer. So in this research, I combine nanomaterials, which you may thought of very tiny materials. Mm -hmm. And this material is found in crab and shrimp cells. Uh -huh. you know, um, when people eat crab or shrimp, they just eat the meat and discard the shell. Mm -hmm. and if we can find a way to recycle them and turn it them into something that we apply, mm -hmm. it would be a very excellent thing. And I turned the compound that people threw away in crab or shrimp cell into uh, nanomaterials mm -hmm. and I put it into nylon. Nylon? Yes, it's a very classic polymer. Uh -huh. And by just mixing the two components and using different approach, uh -huh. I create two types of materials okay. that they have very distinct properties. Uh -huh. Which is? And um, you see, you know the beetles? Uh -huh. They have two pairs of wings here. Mm -hmm. uh, this hard wing is very brittle and very hard. It's used for protection of this insect. Mm -hmm. However, they also have the back wing, which is more flexible, that they use for flying. And this material is kind of similar to these beetle wings. Uh, come here, let me demonstrate you. Yes. You see here, this the back wing is very hard, mm -hmm. so you need a, a lot of force to bend the material, but it will eventually broken like yes. this. Uh, but here, the material is a lot softer and it's stretchable. You can bend it without broken. Here, mm. or even you can stretch it. Like oh. this. Interesting. Yep. So, just two material and combine different techniques, you can create a novel materials. Oh. With novel function. So, where, where do you think this can be applied? Uh, actually, nylon is a very uh, hard material with mm -hmm. this advantage is being lightweight mm -hmm. and this can withstand a lot of uh, harsh chemical condition. Mm -hmm. So with the new invention of my material, I hope it can find some application for safety device such as seat belt. Oh, nice. Move to the next question. What makes you choose to come to USD and Korea? Uh, it's a coincidence that I know USD uh, because I never thought about coming to a foreign country to study. Mm -hmm. During my time in university, when I was still an undergraduate, I study a lot and I think someday that I would like to apply things I study in class, not just learn by heart, but actually apply them in real life. And I accidentally know about USD through social media uh -huh. and I immediately got attracted to the university because it's really unique. It can combine theoretical knowledge with practice yeah. in government research projects. Oh. And that's why I decided to apply to USD to study. How is life living here? Um, you know, for any person coming to a foreign country for the first time, uh, the beginning is really tough. Okay. And I really, really miss my parents and my friends. But um, time's fly, I get adapted to the Korean culture. 
I feel confident now that I can be part of an individual person. Um, and it's good that I can keep contact with my friends through chatting and I call my parents every week to make sure that I'm fine and they still be fine too. And one more thing that when I move away from my family, although we both miss each other a lot, I'm happy that my parents have their personal time to enjoy their hobbies. So you said that you were the only child. Yes. And uh, your parents have been miss you a lot. Yeah, they because uh, they are getting used to the things that I work at home every day and now suddenly their tries go away to a very far place so they just call me every day. They used to call me every day to make sure that nothing happens to me and I'm still happy. Uh, but time fly by and now I'm an individual I'm independent person and I want to let them know that I'm still doing very great. Great. And how do you spend your daily life? I mean, time uh, except for the research. Uh, what do you do? Uh, actually, I'm an early bird, not uh -huh. a night owl. So <laughs> I usually wake up really early in the morning mm -hmm. because I really enjoy the morning atmosphere. Uh -huh. And I think I can concentrate for work in the morning. Uh -huh. I usually start off my day by doing some slight exercise mm -hmm. and I usually walk. Uh, way up to downtown. Oh, so, downtown? Yes. Is there's, it... a, there's, a, there's a downtown near the campus. It's uh -huh. only 10 minutes of walk. Wow. Uh, usually the, the downtown is very crowded during the weekends, uh -huh. but it's really uh, calm in the morning. Mm -hmm. And there's a coffee shop that I can buy some coffee that can freshen up my days. Mm -hmm. And after a long day of work, I just come back to my home and relax. And I usually listen to a lot of music. Oh. Yes. What kind of music do you like? Uh, some synth pop. Oh. And these days, I actually delve into some Korean alternative music. Oh. Yes. So, what's your favorite? Uh, who's your favorite uh, artist, pop artist? Uh, my, I, I just discovered one Korean artist that I usually that I like a lot. Uh huh. Uh, it's the band named Jory. Chaurim? Yes. Wow, I, I like them a lot too. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> what song do you like most? Um, well, I like all of them, but my favorite is... Hey, hey, hey. Oh, well, I, I know that song. My most favorite song, Chaurim, is 2531. I love them. Okay, move on to the next <laughs> question. What is your goal after the graduation? Um, well, initially, I think Korea would be a great starting place for me to go to another country for my study. But um, after two years here, I am getting used to Korean culture and language. And it turned out that I quite like it a lot. So after finish studying in USD, the first thing I need to do is improve my career and then I hopefully I can find a job here probably at a research institute at a postdoc position because I want to fully mature in this nature and with my knowledge I hope to establish a scientific connection between Korea and Vietnam and through this way I can improve the life of both Koreans and Vietnamese people. And any last word that you want to share with your friends or family? Um, to my, my parents, I want to make sure that they know that I'm happy and I'm doing great. I love them a lot. And thank you for their unconditional support. And I really hope that you have a great time for your own hobbies. And for my friends, particularly the one that uh, helped me a lot during my university, I owe them a big thank you because I think without them I would not be here today. So thank you for their support. I wish them happy, happiness and success. Yeah, so this is the end for the interview. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. I enjoyed this interview. Mm -hmm. See you sometimes. Bye!